Have you ever considered the possibility of humans living on Mars? It's not a pipe dream. Underground caves on Mars have been identified as a possible location for a human settlement. These caves will provide protection from cosmic radiation, meteors, and dust storms. They are thought to be capable of supporting farming and even resource extraction. So what does this potential future look like? Tune in to find out. Mars, our neighboring planet, has captivated our imaginations for ages. But now these imaginations might turn into reality. The red planet has long been considered a potential location for human life, and recent scientific discoveries have made this possibility even more tantalizing. Underground caves on Mars have been identified as a practical option for establishing a settlement, and they offer protection from cosmic radiation, meteors, and dust storms. The underground habitat of Mars was formed by volcanic activity in the planet's past, and it's thought to be especially abundant in Mars's Tarsus region, which is characterized by a number of large volcanoes. Some of these caves could be as large as 200 meters in diameter, making them suitable for future human settlements. These caves not only provide shelter from solar radiation and other elements, but they also have potential for farming and resource extraction. According to recent scientific findings, the living conditions in these Martian caves could be quite hospitable for future human settlers. But how does this possible future look? The concept of establishing a human settlement on Mars is not new. Scientists and science fiction writers have speculated for decades about the possibility of humans living and working on Mars. Many people believe that Mars has the potential to become humanity's second home opening up a new frontier for exploration and colonization. In recent years, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and the world's richest man, has made colonizing Mars his personal goal. Musk has made it his mission to make human life multi-planetary. But why Mars? Unfortunately, our options are somewhat limited. The moon, despite its proximity to Earth, is not suitable for human habitation due to lack of resources and extreme temperature fluctuations. There are limited resources such as water and oxygen that are necessary for human survival. While the moon has some scientific research and exploration potential, it is not currently a viable option for human settlement. Then there's the planet Venus. On the other hand, it's inhospitable with a thick and hot atmosphere filled with toxic gases such as sulfuric acid. Its surface temperature is high enough to melt lead, rendering it uninhabitable for humans. While Mars is not ideal, it does have some potential as a location where humans could potentially stay safely. It is our solar system's only other planet with a rocky, solid surface and a thin atmosphere that shields it from solar radiation. While the environment remains harsh and unforgiving, humans may also adapt with the right technology and infrastructure. Mars, for example, has an atmosphere, though it's much thinner than Earth's, it still provides far more protection than the Moon. Mars has a much lower gravity than Earth, but it's still stronger than the Moon, and it's abundant in natural resources like water. We know that Mars was once covered in oceans of liquid water, and that much of it is still there, frozen away in polar ice caps. There are very practical reasons that we should go to Mars and try to set up our new home. It has a lot of potential to function as a new vessel for human life, but what does it look like? We all like to imagine a sci-fi illustration of a shining metal colony with lots of giant glass domes and cool stuff like that, but for the time being, if we truly want to colonize Mars and do so as soon as possible to secure humanity's backup plan, our best bet is to go underground. But the reality of life on Mars will require significant significant protection from the elements. Radiation will be a major issue for long-term Mars settlements. The surface of Mars is exposed to approximately 40 to 50 times more solar radiation than the Earth's surface. Because Mars lacks an active molten core, it lacks a magnetosphere to repel cosmic rays and solar winds. Mars has very little atmosphere, and the lack of makes us even more vulnerable to meteorites. At this point, the possibility of settling down on Mars in underground caverns grows much more interesting. These caves, also known as Martian lava tubes, were formed by past volcanic activity. They form when lava flows beneath a lava flow's hardened surface, 
forming a vault. Mars's unique conditions, such as lower gravity and a thin atmosphere, result in the formation of these larger lava tubes than those found on Earth. Some openings discovered in the Tarsus region measure 150 to 180 meters, indicating that the lava tube beneath can span 200 meters. This provides plenty of room for a human habitat. One significant benefit of living in caves on Mars is the protection they provide from those various elements. Caves provide protection from solar radiation, strong wind, dust storms, and asteroids, all of which are hazards on Mars' surface. Furthermore, caves provide protection from the planet's extreme temperature fluctuations, which range from 20 Celsius during the day to negative 70 at night. Caves are also thought to be the most likely location on Mars for frozen water, which could be used for farming and other purposes. Their convenient vaulted shape and relatively flat ground make them appealing options for human habitation. The caves may provide a stable temperature as well as shelter from the harsh Martian surface conditions. There are additional advantages to living in underground caves on Mars. For one thing, the caves may provide access to water, as many of them are thought to contain underground reservoirs of water ice. Moreover, the caves provide a suitable environment for crop cultivation, which is required to sustain a human settlement on a planet. Of course, establishing a settlement in underground caves on Mars would be difficult. One issue is that finding a way inside the cave can be challenging because the process of breaking through the vault can cause rock and stone debris to fall and block the entry. Furthermore, directing sunlight into the cave is important for plant growth and human survival, but this can be complicated due to the cave's underground location. Another difficulty is maintaining a suitable environment inside the cave, which includes temperature control and air quality. The use of inflatable modules, as proposed by the company Fourth Planet Logistics, is one solution to these challenges. These modules could be scanned with the LiDAR-equipped drones and manufactured to fit the exact geometry of a Martian cave then deployed inside to create a pressurized shelter. However, issues such as the need for a ramp or a cargo lift to transport heavy machinery and supplies into the cave, as well as the need to secure a skylight entrance with a 3D printed dome and airlock must still be addressed. In order to determine their suitability for human habitation, the caves would also need to be explored and mapped. Furthermore, the caves would need to be outfitted with the infrastructure required to support human life, such as lighting, ventilation, and even waste management. Despite these obstacles, the prospect of living in underground caves is very intriguing, and it has the potential to pave the way for a new era of human exploration and colonization of the Red Planet. With the right technology and right mindset, the possibilities for what we could achieve in this new world are seemingly limitless. But before we can even think about establishing a settlement on Mars, we must first focus on getting there. This is where SpaceX comes in. With their powerful Falcon rockets and the development of Starship spacecraft, Elon Musk and his company are leading the charge in the race to Mars. However, reaching Mars is just the first step. Once there, we need to build a self-sustaining ecosystem capable of supporting human life without relying on Earth's resources. This will necessitate technological advancements in areas such as agriculture, energy production, and waste management. While living in underground caves on Mars may not be the most appealing prospect, it's a practical and realistic solution to the challenges we will face on the Red Planet. So let us embrace the idea of living in underground caves on Mars and work to make it a reality. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.